Hey guys, I'm excited to announce the first Meet and Make box. Now those of you that aren't in Florida can join in in the fun and create your own project. For the first project, we're going to create geometric painted wood panels. It's a really easy way to create beautiful art for your home, so let's get started. When you open your Meet and Make box, you'll find all the supplies you need for the project. Go ahead and remove the supply insert and then take out the wood panel. Start by planning your design by laying out the paper hexagons that are included in the box. You don't need to use them if you're painting a design that's only made up of lines. You'll use the washi tape to do that. But if you are using them, place a loop of washi tape to the back of each one to temporarily hold it into place. Tear off small pieces of tape and apply them around each side. Repeat this with the other shapes. Then remove the paper shapes to reveal your stencils. Use your hands to firmly press the tape into place. A credit card or ruler is also really helpful for this. Now you're ready to paint. You can use the colors as they are, or you can combine them to create new colors. If you mix the paint with white, you're going to get much better coverage. The turquoise and yellow colors are going to require the most coats. The trick to getting clean lines whenever you use tape is to paint away from the tape rather than into it. Once you apply a single coat, let it dry for a minute or two until it's dry to the touch. Then apply a second coat. If you want the colors to look opaque, you'll need to apply three to four coats. After painting the final coat, immediately remove the tape. This is really important. If you let it dry first, the paint will likely come up with the tape. Continue painting one shape at a time, removing the tape after each one. When you're done, Allow the paint to dry completely, and then it's ready to be displayed in your home. If you like creating this project, be on the lookout for next month's Meet and Make project. And as always, subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos, and check out my blog for even more inspiration.